Some of the words that come to mind when I picture children who are leaving our program uh, at the end of sixth grade and are going on to the next step in their in their development and in their schooling, um, some of the words uh, some of the words that come to mind are that they're confident. Um, they're able to respond to various situations, meaning um, things don't have to be prescribed for them. Um, they can they can zig if they need to zig, and they can zag if they need to zag. So they're flexible. Um, uh, I, I picture them, I see, I don't picture them. They are, um, they're compassionate people. Um, that doesn't mean that they're, they always make the right choice or that they always do the right thing, but that they're able to recognize the times that they don't. Um, because of their experiences going out into the community, they're very capable of interacting with adults, um, which is always interestingly kind of a surprise to people who receive them in their schooling later. That, that child's just very confident speaking to adults. Um, they're, uh, they're able to seek information that they don't have. So if somebody's asking them for something that they, and they don't understand it, they're able to say, oh, I don't understand this, I need more information. There are people who know a bunch of things that they're interested in um, because that hasn't necessarily come from me. I haven't, uh, I haven't told them what it is that they're interested in. I've followed what it is that they're interested in. So they know like, wow, I really like biology or gosh, I'm really interested in history. You know, analyzing sentences, I think that's pretty cool, the logic behind that. So they have a sense of what they like. Um, and then they also have a sense of what they don't like. And in the areas where they have things that they're not crazy about, they also recognize sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to do.